Okay, here we go. Let's try some Legion Tower Defense 2. We got a 4 versus 4 PvP. Let's play... Let's play the Shrine again. I'm having fun with them. Welcome. You can put down Nova. a Yazora first if you want, but then you can only build one worker. If you put down a Wanderer first to tank, you can now build two workers and you get a mask. So we'll do that. Now, is there anybody we want to replace? I don't like the Infiltrator. Now maybe you do, maybe you're a pro, maybe you play ranked and the Infiltrator is awesome. Uh, for me, I don't like him. The Tempest is real good. The Warg is good, but we have Nekomadas. We don't need the Warg. Let's take the Tempest. And let's build a snail. <clears throat> no, we'll upgrade our king instead. Here's the upgrades for the king. Click in. <laughs> okay. Let's see how this goes. We have Tempest Jet Airplanes. Nekomada. <clears throat> right here, this is a cat. We have the mask. They do AOE damage. We have the wanderer. When he dies, he comes back to life. So check this out. When you see him die, he comes back to life. We have the Yazora that just got a buff yesterday. Really happy about that. We have the soul gate. I'm not sure about the soul gate yet. I want to keep experimenting with it and see what happens. I want to share with you a true story. I was playing some Legion Tower Defense 2 a couple days ago. Let's see. I think we'll build a worker. And I had an incredible game. I got the MVP. I like to spread out the masks. So they're firing from here and from here and over here too, like this. Because they do AOE damage and you want to make it harder for the enemy to reach them. I got the MVP a couple nights ago and I guess I got prideful, which we don't want to do. Pride is our enemy. And I was like on cloud nine, just had an incredible game, MVP. I'm getting better at the game. I was so happy. <laughs> so I launch another game and I'm just going to dominate. And you want to know what the Lord did? I lost. And I played absolutely terribly. I just had, I had the most terrible game. And I believe the Lord was speaking to me. Let's put down a Nekamata right here. The Wanderer here is our temporary tank until we can get up enough gold to put down some Yazoras. And the Lord was speaking to me and say, Garrett, pride is your enemy. You're supposed to be working on humbling yourself. Garrett, I am the Lord God Almighty. I'm not only in control of my entire universe. I'm not only in control of planet Earth. I'm in control of your gaming. And you have a great game when I order it, my son. And then you have a very humbling game when I order that and boy was that humbling I played the next game I made mistake after mistake I had a terrible score I just got breached again on wave 3 maybe you're thinking this is a fail well look down here to the left I have 5 workers my teammates have 4 now the enemy did get a little bit of gold here but I've got 5 workers so I wouldn't call it a fail. Okay, we have 106 gold. Wave four. 
I'm not going to build a worker because we just got breached. I'm going to build a Tempest. These little jets are cool. They cost 90. They do good damage. Let's watch the damage meter and see what happens. Let me check my phone. I'm expecting a text. Okay. Let's see if we can go ahead and clear um, these flying enemies and if we're going to be okay. Or are we getting breached again? Wow. The Lord is humbling me on camera. Look at that. <laughs> we got breached terribly. Okay, so now... If you get breached twice in a row, what do you do? I can't build a worker. So my teammate has six workers. I have only five. I, I can't build any. That would be a lack of respect to my team. Um, because we have the boss here on wave five. So I've been breached twice in a row. I'm going to go with another Wanderer for now. I'm going to put him over here. And this is the boss, level five. Let's build a snail. So you can see that the Lord is in control of our gaming. He is sovereign over his entire creation. He's humbling me right now on camera. And I let the pride go and we need his help so, so, so badly in our lives every day, every hour, every minute. We need his help. I'm watching my team very closely here. We cleared here. So now for wave six, we'll build one worker. Look, my teammate here, Supra, he's got seven workers. I have only six. The Lord's been showing me, and I want to share with you, my teammate got breached, that he has been humbling you and me, not just me, you too. He's been humbling us our entire lives. And one of the ways he's humbling us is in our gaming. And you'll have a really good game and then the next game goes kind of bad. Yes, sir. And then you'll have a really good game and the next game goes really embarrassing. It goes embarrassing bad. <clears throat> and what it is is he's sanctifying our souls. If you are a chosen one, and I hope and pray that you are, he's sanctifying your soul. And a tiny, tiny part of the sanctification process is he's humbling us and he's crushing our pride. Let me hold off on the story. We got breached again, so this build isn't working. The Lord is humbling me on camera. I can't build any more workers for one round, and I've got to go ahead and boost up my, my, uh, my fighters. And if you look at my score over here to the right, I've been breached two to three times now. If, you, if you're two and no, that means you have breached somebody else twice. Look, I'm, I've, been beat, I've been breached twice. This is so humbling. I just had MVP the last round. I was the number one player easily. So... Now, we want to humble ourselves. And how can we fix this mess that I got myself into? What would be the best thing to do here? Let's build, um, let's build a Tempest and a Nekomata Cat. Let's build a Snail for attacking. These are your attackers. These go attack the enemy. And I have to hold off on building workers until I can stabilize here. And what the Lord's been showing me is, he said, Garrett, 
I've been humbling your your whole life. Remember when you were a little boy playing basketball and you missed your shots or you missed the rebound or you failed on this or you failed on that? I've been humbling you your whole life. Okay, we, we cleared easily there. I'm going to pump out workers. I'm going to try to keep up with Supra, my teammate here. He has 10, I have 9. This is my teammate here. Just watching the fight for fun. Okay, and let's look at the enemy. The enemy's fine. So right now we're losing. Our king is at 91%. Here's our king. You can see his health. And they're at 100%. So right now we're losing. And one of the reasons why we're losing is, is I've been breached um, two to three times. And I'm in last place here, which is very humbling. Last place. Praise God. Okay. So, we have 131 gold. It's wave 8. I'm going to take a chance and build a worker. And let's level up each Nekamoto one time. See how he stacks seven times? One for him and one for him. We have 40 Mythium. Let's build a lizard for attacking. This is wave 8. You got to push out your workers now. So they start steamrolling like a snowball. They get a snowball effect here on the Mythium for later. Let's watch somebody else's fight. Here's my teammate using the mechs. Here's my other teammate here. He has a mixed army. <clears throat> He's using mixed units. Did we clear? Wow, we... Is this, wait, is this mine? Oh, I got breached so bad. This is so embarrassing. Um, I'm, I've been breached three to four times. I'm in just about last place. Do you now see how important it is to humble yourself when you win a game? Bragging is unchristlike. <laughs> Boasting, thinking you're better than others. You taking credit for all of your victories instead of giving the credit to the Lord God Almighty where it belongs. All of that is the exact opposite we want to be doing as a child of God. I've been breached, I think it's four times, not three. I think this is wrong. Hey, look, I did breach somebody one time. I'm in last place. Uh, our teammate Supra is carrying us even though we're losing right now. Okay, let's watch my fight. Come on, Jesus. Send some grace. I don't want to be in last place. Come on. I'm turning pink. I'm embarrassed. Come on, Lord. I'm in last place. <laughs> oh, man. I remember I used to be just in fantastic shape. I, I was in. I was at school, and it was PE, and we were running, and we were racing. the whole The whole PE class was racing, like a hundred of us, and I was in first place, and I was bragging and boasting and showing off. And I was boasting so much, I started running backwards. So I'm in first place, laughing at everybody else. And I turn around, and now I'm running backwards. Do you see how prideful I was? Do you see how prideful I was? And as I'm running backwards in first place in the whole school I noticed that some of my friends were staring at me with a strange look on their face and they had this weird look like something bad was going to happen and it's only the grace of God 
that I turned around at the last second. You see, I was running backwards and I wasn't watching where I was going. And I was just about to crash head first into a metal pole. And that probably would have put me in the hospital because my head would have hit the pole. And it's only the grace of God. Here I got breached again. The Lord is crushing my pride. He's crushing my gaming pride. He's crushing my ego right now. <laughs> my teammate got breached also. And he's, he's humbling us. And it's only the grace of God. I turned around at the last second. Here's some buffs you can choose. This one brings a fighter back to life. We'll bring... We'll bring a tank back to life. Let's build a Tempest. And we have enough for a Nekomata. I need to focus a little bit because the Lord is extremely humbling me right now. I'm in last place. It's only the grace of God. I turned around. I saw the metal pole. I was able to move at the last second before my head hits the pole and I go into the hospital. Children of God, do you see what I'm talking about? He's been using gaming and sports and other things in your life, your entire life, to humble you and to crush your pride. I am going to pour out workers here and try to fix this mess that I got into <laughs> with the Lord's grace. I've been breached like five times now because I think the game says four. I think it's five. I'm going to try to fix this. Here's our defense. Here's our king. Our king healed back up so he can heal himself a little bit. All right. So it's 100% to 100%. We have a tie game here. Let's turn this around. How? How can we turn this around? Build two more workers. Upgrade to a Leviathan. Those are very powerful, by the way. The Tempest is a good unit. He turns into a Leviathan when you build him up. And can we build... Let's build one more snail. There we go. I remember I was one of the best pinball players anywhere. I was so good. It was so supernatural. The Lord God sent incredible grace for me to, to play pinball and to be very good. And I used to just dominate. I could put in a quarter and get free game after free game after free game. I got breached again. Look at that. This is so humbling. So I entered a pinball tournament thinking, you know, I can win this for sure. And a whole bunch of people entered the tournament. And I'm winning and I'm winning and I'm winning. Only to find out in the final match, I lost. <laughs> I lost in the final match. And I didn't just lose, but I lost to one of my arch enemies. And boy, did that hurt my pride. And boy, did that upset me. You see, when the Lord sends grace, you can dominate in pinball. You can dominate in sports. You can dominate in anything when he sends grace. But without his grace, guess what? You can't do anything. You can't do anything at all. Yes, sir. Everything is grace, so there will be no boasting in heaven. Everything has to be grace. If you were a really good gamer all because of you, you could brag about that when you get to heaven. Do you see what I mean? We know there's going to be no bragging in heaven 
no boasting in heaven whatsoever and the reason why is when we get there we're gonna learn that everything was grace but I want you to know instead of, instead of waiting to heaven to learn that I got breached again so this game is a fail as I'm in last place having fun sharing these kingdom of God secrets with you that God's been teaching me you're not a great gamer because of you it's all grace so there will be no boasting in heaven and that is what's going on here the Lord God is showing you right now on camera that everything is God's grace let's upgrade the Nekamadas let's upgrade him we have a hundred gold left with the hundred gold what's most important let's put down a tempest right here this guy here this Leviathan is buffing your other airborne units so you want to build your tempest all around him this is wave 14 the boss is coming next I'm in dead last place You got to be more humble and just have a humble heart, a humble spirit. And being humble has to be a lifestyle. It, it has to be a lifestyle. Do you see what I mean? So I lost the bin, I lost the pinball tournament to my arch enemy. Boy did that crucify my flesh let's see we breach the enemy these are our attackers so now we get gold now we're on the level 15 boss Supra here has 29 workers I have only 21 that's unacceptable let's put out a soul gate right here back here let's upgrade to level two let's order a let's see we have 17 seconds let's try to order a dino these guys are at tanks so you're waiting for your mythium to go up here so you can order a better unit can we get to a cannoneer yes let's go here's my cannoneer over here and here's that level 15 boss that everybody gets breached on. Let's find out what happens to us. And the game here is telling me that my military score is absolutely terrible. What a fail game. Praise God, I let the pride go. I humble myself before all of you right now. We got breached terribly. Look at this. All of this is going to get them a ton of gold. Yeah, terrible game on my part. And the Lord God is making a real life video showing you how he's been humbling you your entire life. And if you're a gamer, look at the enemy here. Look at the enemy here. They're going to make it to our king. Let me show you how the fight works. Here's our king. They made it to our king. Lock and, load. and our king is fully leveled up, so he'll be able to kill them. And that God has been humbling you your entire life, whether you knew it or not. And if you are a gamer like me, he has been using gaming to humble you your entire life I'm trying to fix my mess here 61 gold let's build a worker okay is this enough to stop the breaches is this enough here's our attackers over here they're gonna go attack the enemy 
Here, let's scroll out here and watch my teammate. He's using the mechs. And here, this is me over here to the right. This is my teammate. Let's find out what happens. Wow. <laughs> Fail game. So the if you're a gamer like me, the Lord's been humbling you in your games ever since you got your first console, ever since you got your first PC game. Look at all of the attackers here coming down here to our king. So this is our king. And these are the attackers coming in. Let's find out what happens. And over here, are we going to make it to their king? Okay, our king is okay. So now you can see we're losing. And we're losing this fight badly. Supra has 43 workers. I have only 31. Okay, Nekamata's fully leveled up. The gate's leveled up. We leveled up a mask. Another mask. Okay, we're losing badly. A part of that is because of me. I've been breached like 3,000 times. So if you're gaming like me, you're playing a lot of games, the Lord is sanctifying your soul while you game. He's working on you, which we call sanctification. He's crushing your pride in some games, yet in other games, he's showing incredible grace. Isn't that amazing? Look at that. One round, we get breached terribly. The next round, we do better. The Lord is showing you that he's in control of the gaming, not you, not me. Here's the soul gate. You see that? One round we get breached, the next round we do okay. Why? Because it's the Lord God ordering it, that's why. He's sovereign over his entire creation. He's in total control. Okay, we have 773. We don't have enough attackers. We really don't. Let's order a Drake. Here's our attackers. Let's go look at Supra. He's our number one player um, this game. He has some masks here also fully upgraded. And let me check on myself real quick. Ah, I got breached again. That is embarrassing. I got breached terribly. In fact, this could be game over. My teammate here got breached. Supra did not get breached. He's carrying us. Here is the enemy army. Is our king strong enough to defend against this? Uh, let's find out. This was a fun game. A humbling game. Flesh getting crucified here on camera. We lost, and my score is terrible. I'm one and nine. Look at that. Now do you see a real-life example of how God uses gaming to crush our pride? One game, he sends grace. You do fantastic. You're MVP. The next game, he crushes your pride. He crushes your ego. You play terribly. Everything you do is wrong. <laughs> your team loses and you end up almost in last place. Praise God, super cool video here.